In this video, I want to prove this question 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo 437. And to prove this uh, question, I'll be using Wilson's theorem. So let me to recall the Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem says if p is a prime, then p minus 1 factorial, this is congruent to minus 1 modulo p. Now this theorem is for the prime numbers and here we can see that this is not a prime, 437 is not prime. And so to check which integer divide 437, we just observe that this is an odd integer. And by checking 2, 3, 5, 7, these odd prime, we know that none of these are uh, div dividing this 437 integer. So there is a way to check if you consider under root of 437, this is approximately equal to 20. That means there must exist a prime less than or equal to 20 such that this prime should divide 437. So in that list when you check 2 to up till 19, we see that 19 divide 437. So 437 is equal to 19 into 23. Now this is the prime factorization for 437. Once I have the prime factorization, I can apply the Wilson theorem. So noticing that 437 is 19 into 23. And if I can show that, so let me do first right here. So if I can show that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo 19. And then I can show that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo 23. If we can show that this quantity holds, then as 19 and 23, they are relatively prime. Their GCD is 1. So from the first congress, we got 19 divide 18 factorial plus 1. So that's the first congress giving me uh, the other way of writing in terms of the divisibility. And the second congress will give me 23 divide 18 factorial minus 1. Now as their GCD is 1, their product that is 19 into 23, which is equal to 437. This must divide 18 factorial uh, plus 1. And so we can say that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo 437. So that means my original problem which I want to show this is reduced to a problem of so showing this. So now as you can see that inside we have a prime number and so we can use the Wilson theorem. So let me to now show this uh, double star. So using Wilson theorem we can straight away say that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod 19 because it's it's p minus 1 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo p. So this is straight away. If here it is 19, it will automatically become 18 factorial, which is congruent to minus 1 mod 19. Now let's look at for the 22 also. We want to verify it for 23 also. Now notice that if you take uh, 23 inside the mod. So if you have mod 23, so here you will have 22 factorial. And but I want to have a result which shows that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. So we want to bring here 18 factorial. So let's open this and let's just keep this as equation number 1. Uh, and let's open this 22 factorial. We'll get 22 into 21 into 20 and then we got 19 into 18 factorial. This is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. Now let's convert this. And as we know that 22 is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. So we are replacing because 22 is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. So replace 22 by minus 1. Similarly, you can replace 21. This is congruent to minus 2 mod 23. So replace this also with minus 2. 20, this is congruent to minus 3. 19 this is congruent to minus 4 and keep 18 factorial as 18 factorial only, only because we, we require this result minus 1 modulo 23. So here we can just see again 20 is congruent to minus 3 mod 23 and I've used 19 is congruent to minus 4 mod 23. So using these congruences I have made this above replacement. Now just multiply these terms there are negative sign but then there are uh, even number of negative signs there are four negative signs so this will become a plus quantity and when i multiply 4 into 3 that is 12 into 2 24 so this is 24 into 18 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 mod 23 and also 24 is congruent to 1 modulo 23 so this 24 is further i am replacing it by 1 
into 18 factorial which is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. So we have proved that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod 23. Now this is my second congress and the earlier one I got the first congress from these two and noting that the GCD of 19 and 23 is 1 we can directly say that this implies 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 modulo 437 that proves our result that 18 factorial is congruent to minus 1 mod 437.